car in line comes to us from Council Bluffs, Iowa. In the dirt track, Zane Bluffs going in back to part of the property. Getting into the center to get the center. Will the third car show under Dr. Zane Bluffs? Number 25, Brad to the bone, Brad Redue. Brad Redue at car 25. Coming down the front stretch for runner up with the Hall of the Poker Truck East Series. One season ago, out of, out of Gunsburg, Iowa. That is the right show of women, Jerry Valley Auto, Denver Body Shop, Chris Hall, Sharp, 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 Goder, Custom Cabinet, number 44, Cool Hand Luke. It's Luke Goder. Luke Goder in the 44. Also rolling down the Speedway two times, rolling down the bus track, I should say, a two times series winner with the E Series last year out of Freeport, Illinois, in the CW Trucking Centennial Contractor DNS. Purdue on the inside, outside of him will be the 32 of Curtis Glover. Row number three, that'll be the 10 T of Jeff Garp on this outside the 44 of Troy Daly. Row number four on the inside, that'll be the 10 of TJ Janicek. On this outside of 53, that'll be Andrew Kuzinski. Your ninth and final starter, Jeff will be the one, that is Jake Neal. So looks like everyone except the two move on to tonight's Mount Rebank and Hoker Trucking A main event. First East versus West showdown of the 2023 season. We've got a plethora of them here this year. So it's the two Nebraska natives, Josh Leonard and night number one in the 12th annual Jayhawk Classic. And Curtis Butler took it. Purdue hangs up in the third spot. Meanwhile, Zach Steiner, your second and final transfer spot right now. Here, not bad at all. Going to be Carden Hansen in third, Jordan Parker in fourth, and Parker still taking laps in the number 65. Your thumbnail driver, the Everseal number 65, looks to make himself ever more known. His first top 10 in this league came last week at Chicagoland, and he's looking to back up that big time momentum swing with yet another good race. We'll see whether or not he's going to be able to do just that as he comes down the back this time through. He is all alone on the track. 
No other driver going at it right now except for Dylan Butler. So Butler's going to be racing with us. And that's going to be 17 drivers back in action. Great to see. It looks like a full field of participation in tonight's sessions. Dylan goes third on the board. Two tenths off of your fastest man. And it's going to be Blake Winkowski that's having big issues as it's going to be finicky controlling that number 52 for the rest of the night for Lax Parker Motorsport, teammate of the number 65 of Jordan Parker. Having his second best run in the league so far. He's in 11th as is and might be able to chase down a few more guys as Cody Webster wrecks. And we have a caution out. Big hit for the 91 machine. And that brings out the yellow flag. 32 laps. Two not as 12 drivers still on the lead lap here. Michael Knight's going to be the last of which it looks like a good majority of the field going to come down to the back. Kuntz, Weeks, Casey, Tegner, Jackson, and Heater stay out, waiting to see if we go long run once again. The last time we had a one caution race, we did go green the rest of the way, so it might be best to hold on to your Goodyear tires and maybe wait until the race is over to use them or close to over. And if you can't do that, make it happen. Conserve your momentum and your power. You might have the advantage. And along, Cody Webster, some damage on his own right, battling big with a Jordan Parker machine. And Parker goes right down, though, tries to cross him over. And that's 65, chasing his second consecutive top 10 in this league. Might be able to get him if we go his way. Webster obviously has an awful lot of damage on that number 91 machine. Parker does not have that as he goes down low. It could be a spot for the taking. That it is not going to be that time through. Webster gets a major run on him. And that 65 has to try, try again. Maybe this time through, maybe the next is now. That 65 loses time on Kyle Jackson. Stay Webster falls back big. Looks like that 91 machine going to be coming down pit road. And at a fast, fast pace. And it looks like that's going to be the night for him. Big hit as we cut away from the cameras. That's a harsh one. And that 91 is done for the night. That promotes Jordan Parker into 11th and two drivers down on pit row with major damage. Webb and Parker now going to be up in 11th and he's looking for a second best finish in this league. One spot away from the all coveted top 10 for him. Looking to slowly but surely methodically work his way into the playoffs as one of the drivers showing up week in and week out. He told me earlier this was going to be the race he returned to racing in this league after he changed. Of course his place of Location. He moved houses and said he'd be back by Michigan. But it looks like he came back early, got some points, got some spots, and now he is closing in on the playoff bubble. But he'll need to get a few more positions if he wants to make it official. Michael Deitch in 10th. Aaron Browning into the realm of Jordan Parker's speed. Last time by that number 44 machine ran a 42.0. Jordan Parker ran a 41.982. So it might be quick enough to battle there as they bat. As Kyle comes down pit road, it might just be all for not and more than halfway in the race. He made it. It's going to be the number 65 now in the top 10 as that number 96 Done and done. Time through. He's one lap down as is. Eric Heater looks to be disconnected from this race. So now Parker back into his career high position of ninth. Looking to get back to back ninth place finishes for the first time in this season. A top 10 driver. Jordan Parker has become attrition. Always works in his favor and he never gives up. That's the big thing about the 65 machines. Rookie campaign. The Everseal 65 is putting together a great drive as he comes. There in fourth. And now Coots battling big as they go right by the 65. Uh, Jordan Parker, a dicey maneuver there. And some Jordan on Jordan battling as 18 laps to go. Coots gets by Parker. And now Matthew Weeks is on the agenda. Coots right behind him. And Jordan Parker there as well. That 65 running his fastest laps all night long. And last time by, he ran a 40.90090. And his best lap now going to be a 40-second flat lap. How about that for the man in the ninth spot? One lap down, and he has the best pace he's had all night long. Now goes down to the inside line, racing the leaders here. And it looks like Kuntz not going to be too happy about that, but he's going to be given some room as now the 65 takes it down low in the double zero. And Jordan Kuntz keeps himself right up high. So it's going to be Parker not interfering, but getting quick as now he's learning from the best of them. 
right in front. Jordan right now one lap down is in the ninth position and that will tie his all-time best finish in this league. He got that finished last week. He's been on a roll as of recent and that number 65 for Fisher Studios is now looking to put together a masterpiece once again. The top 10 for two consecutive races and his teammate in Carden Hansen is there as well and he looks to be safe to finish in the 10th spot at the end of the day. A great race for Lask Parker Racing and it looks like they're going to come home 9th and 10th in succession here in Michigan. 13 laps remaining. Matthew Weeks still out in front to worry about here and Parker is right behind that double zero acting as a defender and it's Jordan and Jordan working together here inadvertently. It is not intentional but it seems like it's going to work out in his favor as Parker goes down low on Jordan Coons. And right down to the apron, the 65 goes to number 13, Elaine Graves. Now is less than three seconds to go on the leader. However, it looks like degradation is now in his way as well. That time by only half a second quicker. Two and a half seconds away, it is enough to get him at the line at that rate. But he'll have to keep pushing, and it could be pushing you too hard. That is the disadvantage for that number 13. Had the perfect pace beforehand, but now all out of cert. That number 13 machine had something good going, but it could be too much. Not all that glitters is gold, and right now fading a bit on that pursuit of the leader. Jordan Parker, next man to chase down, and the 13 machine is going to go down low. Will Parker give him some slack? That he will. And now the number 13 machine for B3 Designs gets by the lap truck and gets by easy as the 65 goes up high. Two drops are in Lane Graves and Jordan Kuntz there in third. That was Vinny Tigner fourth, Aaron Brown six seconds back in fifth, and Carter Casey right behind him there in sixth. Blake Witkowski with a new career best finish in seventh. Mike Udich as well in eighth, and Jordan Parker ties his career best in ninth. On debut, 13 laps down, Cart Carton Hanson. this afternoon just after two o'clock we'll have some pre-race festivities a concert a whole lot more coming up today on a beautiful sunday here in the heartland so welcome to kansas city welcome to kansas speedway good morning